Hello and welcome to Project Rome. Now it's great to be able to use the templates that come with a product, but you know how it goes. After a while, you've used all the ones that you use over and over again, and maybe you're ready for something new. Well, once you sign in with your Adobe ID to Project Rome, you will have access to the template and object exchange. So for example, if I go to the template exchange, it's now going online and finding templates created by other people, other Rome users, that will have the kind of objects and categories and things that maybe I didn't have or even think about in the original download or purchase of Rome. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this, this, other, this new one here that's very highly rated. It's called the Solar System. Um, it looks very cool. I'm going to go ahead and just import that in. And just like any other Rome document, it takes a few seconds in this case because it is pulling it down online. Uh, and then it goes ahead and allows me to use this template for anything that I want to create. Now, I imagine because it's a solar system, it's got to be interactive. So let's go ahead and do a preview. And we can preview this. And sure enough, it's got rollovers that allow me to preview the solar system. So, and again, I can use this as is, or I can make modifications to it if I want. I'm going to add an object to it, but once again, I'm going to get that object from the template exchange. So we'll do insert. And again, if it were on my computer, I'd just insert file, but I'm going to choose insert object exchange. We'll go back to look at the objects here. And then there's some objects that are pretty cool. There's a media player, there's cobblestone, there's a red star, a photo slideshow, and again, these will all change based on what's online at any given time, but I like this dragon animated. So let's go ahead and choose that. And there it is. Someone drew a vector dragon and animated it. So let's go ahead and import that in. And just that easily, I pull that from an online source, the template and object exchange for Rome. And now that is in my solar system view. Not sure that it makes sense here, but it's there. So now if we preview that, we have our interactive solar system with our flying animated dragon just that easily using Rome and the object and template exchange. Again, all you need to do is get Rome and sign in with your Adobe ID and you'll have access to all the content that all the other great Rome users out there are creating and you can use those right inside your copy of Rome. That's it for this quick video on using the uh, template exchange and object exchange for Rome. My name's Terry White. Thanks for watching.